Welcome to Hand Surgery Podcast. This has been brought to you by www.handsurgerymanual.com. Hello, my name is Vaikunthan Rajaratnam. I'm a consultant hand surgeon working in the Birmingham area. I bring to you today the functions of the hand. The purpose of the hand is for the individual to interact with this universe. Without the hands, an individual will not be able to survive without assistance or help. Basically, the hand helps the individual to interact with others, to be able to do his activity of daily living. The various sociological functions of the hand include self-preservation, that is for grooming, feeding, taking care of oneself so as not to to die from starvation, infection, or uh, other problems. The second social function of the hand is for vocation. The hand helps an individual to be gainfully employed and therefore survive in the world. The third social function of the hand is communication. Hands are used frequently to communicate with each other and certain cultures various use of the hands can be noted to be either positive or negative. The fourth important aspect of the function of the hand is for recreation and is frequently used in various recreative activities, sports, music, art, culture and therefore plays an important role in one's well-being. And occasionally too, hand is quite important for procreation. Uh, It may be difficult for some individuals without hands to be able to procreate successfully. Now, apart from the social functions of the hand, the hand is also an important tool as it has physiological function. As a surgeon, the importance in analyzing a hand along its physiological functions helps the surgeon decide on the disability that a particular condition or disease or injury produces and how to reconstruct the hand to provide those physiological functions. Basically, one can consider the hand as having eight functions. The radial side of the hand consists of the precision movements of the hand to provide intricate and delicate movements that are required on a day-to-day basis. There is the precision pinch, which is the pinch between the nails of... The precision pinch, therefore, is used to pick up fine uh, things like needles and small screws from a table. Uh, without which uh, it will not be possible. The requirements for a precision pinch requires an intact median nerve, especially the precision pinch between the index and the middle finger, requiring an anterior interosseous nerves, FBL and FDP to the little uh, to the ring finger to the index finger and the thumb. At the same time, it requires an intact nail to be able to be precise. Next to the precision pinch, the second pinch is called the pulp to pulp pinch, which is responsible for picking up flat objects like sheets of paper and sheets of glass. This requires the f- intact median nerve, but not only that, it requires an intact FDS to the index finger, just because without an FDS, you have a pure FTP, you will not be able to obtain a pulp to pulp pinch. The pulp to pulp pinch provides adequate padding of the pads of the fingers to provide resistance as we lift heavy objects. This is crucial especially in people lifting sheets of glass. The next pinch is known as the key pinch which is the ability to turn a key. This requires an intact stable index finger against which the thumb should be able to oppose and press to produce the pinch and therefore this is seen especially in uh, the intact ulna nerve. The deep branch of the ulna nerve which supplies the adductor of the thumb in the first interossei and this is crucial to maintain a strong key pinch. So it's a great disability in those with ulna nerve palsy. So these are the three pinch. Then there are three uh, powerful grips most powerful being the power grip which is equivalent to holding that of a hammer note that the power grip the power comes more on the ulna side the radial side of the power grip provides direction whereas the ulna side gives the strength 
and therefore an ulnar nerve lesion will result, especially a high ulnar nerve lesion, will result in a weak ulnar grip. And a primitive form of grip known as the hook grip allows for the carrying of a suitcase or a, a, a bag of shopping. The hook grip requires an intact FDS and FDP, preferably uh, just a pure FDS fingers will not result in proper engagement of a hook. The third kind of a grip is a chuck grip, which consists of removing caps of bottle, which requires good movement in the index, middle and thumb. This requires median nerve function, but also requires sens sensibility in these three digits to be able to perform this function. This is a useful function, in uh, only possible when there are at least three digits available to provide this movement. The next two functions of the hand consist of open grasp, which is a grass that is used to pick up a pint of beer, where you need the span of the hand and the ability to provide MP flexion in a stable post against the thumb, which will be able to hold a large object. For this to be able to be performed adequately, good MP joint movement, a wide first web space is required uh, to be able to efficiently produce a power grasp. A modified uh, grass or open grass is that of picking up a spherical object like a large ball. To be able to do that, you must have the ability to open the span of the hand with a good web space, but at the same time to produce a palmer arch that is, there's a normal arching of the palm, uh, especially from the second to the fifth metacarpus, which is more uh, flex and opposed as compared to the second metacarpus, so as to grasp a spherical object. This is lost in ulnar clawing, and they will have difficulty, especially with the hyperextension of the MP joint, in grasping spherical objects. Another uh, type of uh, function, physiological function of the hand is a flat of the hand. The flat of the hand is required to push heavy objects like opening up a heavy bank door or for the function of uh, shaking hands and clapping. And this is uh, 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 impossible if somebody has got a flexion contracture of the MP and PIP joints of the hand which produces a flex, uh, 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 inefficient or flat uh, or open palm uh, function. Therefore, there are lots of conditions which will interfere with the function of the hand if uh, resulting from either contraction, weakness or deformities. Thank you. This has been brought to you by www.handsurgerymanual.com